So the leadoff, Callie Swainey now for Arkansas. This event in particular did not go well last week. They didn't panic, they aren't panicking, but they're gonna try to level it out here today. Yeah, really good opportunity for them to reset. Like head coach Jordan Weaver says, she didn't want to overthink it. One bad bar day doesn't mean anything. But they did hone in on those details, and I'm seeing some good handstands from Callie right off the top of this routine. Wants to lock in a vertical position. Opens double layout. Clean dismount, not a stuck landing, but great job minimizing those deductions on the mat. How does a college gymnastics meet work, you may ask? Will be the second gymnast to go here. She is a sophomore from Hanover, PA. And if you are just joining us, welcome. If you're on the SEC Network, we are just at the beginning of this. Arkansas Razorbacks Florida Gator dual meet. This is the second gymnast to go for the Razorbacks here in the first rotation. Yeah, and she caught a little close to that release move last weekend. Fixes it right here, so already an improvement. Great to see those aggressive cast handstands. That's what the judges want to see. Good, clean double layout. Similar mistake to her teammates, just sliding those feet, but not too big of a deduction there. I watched them warm up that vault. Now Reese Drotar follows Jamie Pratt's 9825. So a pair of 9825s for the Razorbacks. Now she is beautiful to watch on this event. Her lines in these cast handstands, and when she holds it like that, that's kind of telling the judges, hey, you can't take any deductions, no question marks here. Nice routine so far. Straight up to that handstand. Again, you want to see a vertical position. She did that nicely. Just a little trouble on the dismount there, but everything that we're seeing from this Arkansas bar team looks great on these handstands and on the... So Jensen Scalzo was the first athlete you saw with that error. Here she is trying to get some redemption this week in an important moment following Reese Strotar's 9.85. You can see bottom right, the score is now very even so far halfway through this rotation. Here's where the mistake came last weekend. This is called a Jaeger release move. Her Perfectly done, great distance away from the bar. And finishes double layout again with the hop on the dismount, but sometimes you just need a good routine to erase the one she did last weekend. And We'll find out in a moment, Priscilla Park now, a freshman trying to answer a freshman. Another superstar freshman, like you mentioned, She's got good rhythm in this bar team. Sharp to that handstand position, but huge release moves like we just saw there. Great air time. She's following Jensen Scalzo's 9.875 in the fourth spot. Big early moment in this meet. And a step forward. They haven't had one stuck landing for Arkansas, but what I'm noticing is those handstands have been really sharp 